Hello! Welcome to the new episode of Real Bazaar. When we see new versions of food, we kind of expect that they're created by genius chiefs. But it turns out that some of the most famous foods we eat were born out of revenge plots, laziness to use utensils, and the lack of ingredients. Luckily for some people, their desire to improvise led to some of the greatest discoveries in culinary history. From nachos to potato chips, get ready to find out the insanely bizarre creation stories of how randomly mixed ingredients led to the popular meals we know today. Check out the 8 insanely bizarre food origin stories. Chocolate chip cookie Sometimes a bit of creativeness can go a long way. This is exactly what happened to Ruth Wakefield when she created our favorite chocolate chip cookie. One day, when making a dessert, she ran out of baker's chocolate. Instead of going back to the grocery store and complaining, she decided to improvise. She cut up a semi-sweet chocolate bar from Nestle as a substitute. Thus, our chocolate chips were born with one of the most bizarre food origin stories. Popsicle The tale begins in 1905, in the home of 11-year-old Frank Apperson. One night he made his usual drink, a soda powder combined with water, and mixed it with a stirring stick. He accidentally left his drink outside in the middle of winter. The next day, a popsicle was made. He gave some of his popsicle creations to other kids who absolutely loved it. This made Frank realize that the popsicle would be a hit. He kept this discovery a secret for 18 years, until he had the resources to distribute them commercially. Sandwich One of mankind's greatest innovations in food history is the sandwich. Apparently, it also comes with one of the most bizarre food origin stories. It turns out that the origin story of how this dish is now everywhere was born out of a man's laziness to use proper utensils. The story is that sometime in the 1700s, the fourth Earl of Sandwich, John Montagu, requested it from his servants. How it happened, that's something that people don't agree on. Some say that he was in the middle of a fierce gambling game, so he ordered that meat between two pieces of bread should be brought to him at once. Another story says that Earl was extremely busy for long periods of time, so he requested a utensil-free meal. Whatever the case, we can all agree that the sandwich made getting meals a whole lot easier. Pink Lemonade Drinking freshly squeezed lemonade mixed with crushed strawberries, raspberry juice and cranberry juice to make it pastel pink is perfect for a hot summer day. Pete Conklin, a circus concession worker. One day he ran out of water to make his lemonade with. Instead of calling it a day, he tried to find more water which he found in the dressing room. Problem is, somebody just used it to clean their pink stockings, giving the bucket of water a pastel pink hue. Ignoring all health concerns, Pete used that pink water to create his alleged strawberry pink lemonade. His business skyrocketed because of his new twist to the usually bright yellow drink. Too bad it's not as refreshing as it seems. Potato Chips Once upon a time, a customer dined in Saratoga Springs Moon Lake House. Like most people, he ordered the house speciality, Moon's Fried Potatoes. Chief George Crumb gave him exactly what he ordered, but the batch of fried potatoes kept coming back to the kitchen, because the customer kept complaining that they were too thick. Who wouldn't be upset with annoying customer who insults your cooking? This led Chief George Crumb to cut the last batch of potatoes as thin as possible, fry them to a crisp and add tons of salt. Crumb thought that now the chips were surely inedible, Surprisingly, there's a twist. Once his revenge dish was served, the customer took his first bite and loved it. And our potato chips were born. Now you know that every potato chip lover will forever be grateful to the annoying customer and Chief Crumb's unexpected revenge plot. Hot Spicy Chicken The story dates back to 70 years ago in the home of Thornton Prince, an infamous womanizer. After a night of playing with other girls, he found his girlfriend not so pleased about his other affairs. To get revenge, she served him extra spicy chicken for his Sunday morning breakfast. Unfortunately for her, Prince loved his chicken spicy. He created his own recipe and began cooking it at his restaurant. The rest is history. Hot chicken became a hot recipe. Nachos in 1943, a group of American military wives lived together in Eagle Pass, Texas. To avoid seclusion at the military base, 
they often wandered to nearby towns, one of which was Piedras Negras in Mexico. One day, these women ventured to the Victory Club restaurant. The maitre de Ignacio Nacho Anaya was happy to meet them, but unfortunately the chief was away. He didn't want them to just leave, so he decided to improvise with some jalapenos, grated cheese, and tortilla chips. Long story short, once the women loved it, the Nacho's business skyrocketed. Moral of the story, the desire to please women can lead to extraordinary feats. Ice Cream Cone the ice cream cone is one of the most important innovations in ice cream history. Before it was invented, ice cream was either licked out of glass containers or wrapped in paper. In short, eating ice cream was gross. Who would want to eat in a glass licked by so many people? But even if it was unsanitary, the demand was high. Ice cream vendors usually lacked the time to properly wash the dishes when people kept demanding it in hot days. Fortunately, in 1904, the invention of the ice cream cone saved all ice cream lovers from everyone else's slobber. Although Martian is credited as the inventor, a similar version was introduced in 1904 at the St. Louis World's Fair. A Syrian concessioner named Ernest A. Humvee rolled his waffle-like pastries known as zalabis into a cone. He gave it to his neighboring ice cream vendor, who ran out of dishes to serve his ice cream with. Long story short, the customers were happy, ice cream vendors had less hassle, and eating ice cream was a lot safer. Who knew a good deed could go a long way? Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit thumbs up and leave your comment. Feel free to subscribe to Real Bizarre. Thanks, and we'll see you!